Major League Baseball, beginning with the Cardinals taking on the Phils, 105 Eastern first pitch. The Phils open a buck and a quarter, down to minus 105, total open 10, up to 10 and a half. 59% are leaning Phillies, 52% shaded toward the under. Right now, St. Louis is minus 105, pretty much a coin flip uh, contest in this matchup here. Uh, we have Hudson for the cards, Eikhoff for the Phils. I think this is a fantastic uh, equity, a fantastic price for the Phillies. And I, I, uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 Eikhoff. There you go, Brock. Way to spit it out. I think this is incredible equity for the Phils and Eikhoff in this spot here. Give me Philadelphia minus 105 in the under 10 runs in that game. Uh, next matchup. Giants, Marlins, 110 Eastern first pitch in Miami. No line on the total as of yet. We have Tyler Anal Bead for the Giants, Sandy Alcantara for Miami. Uh, San Francisco's lost their last seven straight, 0 <laughs> 7 in their last seven. Uh, Miami, uh, 3 0 in their last three, 7 3 in their last 10. Give me the Marlins winning that one outright. Under the leadership uh, of Sandy Alcantara, uh, fading Tyler Anal Bead. Okay, next game. Arizona taking on Colorado. 310 Eastern first pitch in the Mile High City. Colorado open $1.45 up to minus 150. Total open 11 and a half up to 12 flat. 60% are leaning Colorado, 51% shaded toward the under. Uh, Arizona's plus 140 on the money line. Colorado plus $1.15 on the run line. We have Clark for the Diamondbacks, Freeland for the Rockies. Arizona is 20 and 12 ATS away from home. And of course, when I refer to ATS against the spread, uh, covering uh, in baseball, I'm referring to the run line. So once again, Arizona 20 and 12 on the run line away from home this year. They also rank second in hits, uh, really knocking the ball around uh, this year on the uh, offensive side of things at the plate. So with all that in mind, uh, pretty good value here in my opinion. I like Arizona plus one and a half, getting the job done on the run line. In the under, 12 runs in that game. Next matchup, Brewers, Pirates, 705 Eastern first pitch in Pittsburgh. Milwaukee is minus 120, totals eight and a half. Uh, we did have a nickel move toward the Brewers on the money line. We saw movement downward on the the total. So once again, Milwaukee open minus 115, up to minus 120. Total open nine, down to eight and a half. 68% are leaning Milwaukee, 67% shaded toward the over. Right now, Pittsburgh's plus 110 on the money line. Milwaukee plus 140 on the run line. We have Anderson for the Brewers, Musgrove for the Pirates. Musgrove's just three and five with a 4.58 ERA for Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, on the other side, Anderson is 2 and 0 oh with a 3.25 ERA for the Brewers. Uh, Pittsburgh winners in just 10 out of 24 at home this year. They rank 26th in hits allowed at home. They're also 25th in runs allowed at home. Give me Milwaukee minus 120 in the over eight and a half in that game. Next matchup, uh, Red Sox, Yankees, 705 Yankee Stadium. The Red Sox are minus 150, totals eight and a half. We did see a 10 cent move. What's going on here? You know what? My TV's been doing that lately. It just turns off randomly. I don't get that. The past couple of days, started this week, just turns off randomly. If you have a solution for that, let me know in the comments section below. Let's see if we can get back up. Yeah, just a blank screen. Very weird. But anyway, Boston opened. Um, Boston is minus 150, totals eight and a half. We did see a 10 cent move toward Boston. Uh, they opened 140 up to 150, total open nine down to eight and a half. So once again, Boston's minus 150, totals eight and a half. 53% are leaning Boston, 68% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Yankees are plus 135 on the money line. Boston minus 105 on the run line. We have Chris Sale for the Red Sox, Jay Happ for the Yankees. Haps four and three on the year. Uh, sale on the other side for Boston, just one and six with a 419 ERA for the Red Sox. Now, this Yankees team, well, they're 17 games over 500. They're also nine and two in their last 11. They rank third in runs allowed at home. They're also first in hits allowed in that same category. 
Boston winners in just two out of their last six. They've also covered just 12 out of 30 away from home. Just 12 and 18 against the spread when traveling. Uh, they also rank 19th in runs allowed on the road, which isn't good. Total-wise, the Yankees are 20-10 and 10 to the under at home. Give me the Yankees plus one and a half, getting the job done on the run line at home. And the under eight and a half in that game. Next matchup, Twins. Rays, 7-10 Eastern first pitch in Tampa Bay. The Rays are minus 130, totals eight and a half. Now, we did see a 20-cent fade of the Rays in the early going here. We also saw movement upward on the total. Tampa Bay, once again, open 150, down to minus 130. Total open eight, up to eight and a half. 51% are leaning Minnesota, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Twins are plus 120 on the money line. Tampa Bay, plus 145 on the run line. We have Perez for the Twins, Morton for the Rays. Morton's 5-0 with a 2.54 ERA for the Rays. Perez, 7-1 with a 2.95 ERA for the Twins. Now, if you like Minnesota in this spot here, not a bad play for you. They're 20 games over 500. 37 and 17 overall. They're also 18 and 8 straight up away from home as well. They rank first in scoring, first in hits. They're winning 80% of their games following a day off. They're also winning 78% of their games taking on teams allowing less than 3.9 runs per contest. Now, Tampa Bay on the other side, uh, losers in five out of their last 10 played at the current market price. They're also winning just 33% of their games taking on teams allowing 3.9 to 4.2 runs per contest. couple more things about this Rays team. They rank 20th in scoring, 24th in striking out. They're also second to last in striking out at home. Now, total-wise, Tampa Bay is 7-1 uh, to the over in their last eight taking on Minnesota. They're also 67% to the over taking on teams over 540. Now, Minnesota on the other side, 17-9 and nine to the over, away from home. Give me the Twins, plus one and a half in the over, eight and a half in that game. Next matchup, Kansas City taking on Texas, 8.05 Eastern first pitch. Texas is minus 145, total is 10. We did see a 25-cent fade of the Rangers on the money line and movement downward on the total. Once again, Texas open $1.70, down to minus 145. Total open 10.5, down to 10 flat. 69% are leaning Texas, 54% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Royals are plus 135 on the money line. Texas plus $1.30 on the run line. We have Jake Junis for the Royals, Mike Miner for the Rangers. Miner's 5-3 with a 2.55 ERA for Texas. Meanwhile, on the other side, Jake Junis, 3 and 5 with a 558 ERA for the Royals. Uh, Texas ranks second in scoring. They're 17 and 8 at home. Give me the Rangers minus 145 in the over 10 runs in that game. Next matchup, Indians, White Sox, 8-10 Cleveland. Ah, not Cleveland. No, not here you won't. Uh, Chicago. Guaranteed rate field. So once again, Cleveland's at Chicago. 810 Eastern first pitch at guaranteed rate field. Cleveland's minus 180, totals at nine. Now we did see a 30 cent fade of Cleveland in the early going. Uh, we also saw movement downward on the total. So once again, Cleveland open 210, down to minus 180. Total open nine and a half, down to nine flat. 69% are leaning Cleveland, 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the White Sox are plus 165 on the money line. Cleveland, minus $1.10 on the run line. We have Carrasco for the Indians, Banuelos for the White Sox. Banuelos is 2-4 and four with a 7-7-1 ERA. Uh, the White Sox have covered in just 8 out of 26 games at home. Ugh, just 8-18 and 18 against the spread at home this year. They're also 4-6 and six in their last 10. Cleveland, 4th and runs allowed on the road, 8th in hits allowed in that same category. When it comes to the total, Cleveland's 80% to the over in their last 5. Give me Cleveland, minus 180 in the over, 9 runs in that game. Next matchup, Mets, Dodgers, 10-10 Eastern first pitch in Los Angeles. The Dodgers are minus 260, totals at 8. Now, we did see a 20-cent move toward the Dodgers in the early going here. We also saw movement downward on the total. So, once again, the Dodgers opened 240 up to 260. Total open 8.5 down to 8 flat. 
71% are leaning Dodgers, 56% shaded toward the over. Uh, the Mets are plus 230 on the money line. Dodgers minus 130 on the run line. We have Vargas for the Mets, Ryu for the Dodgers. Ryu is 7-1 with a 1.65 ERA for the Dodgers. The Dodgers are also third in scoring, second in hits at home. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Mets are 12-19 and 19 to the over, away from home. Give me the Dodgers, minus one and a half, and the under eight runs in that game. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. Uh, real quick, we'll do a, a quick recap here. Why the hell not wouldn't we do that? Let's do a recap. All right. Uh, Angels, oh no, we got one more game to do. Man, I am just so scatterbrained today. <laughs> what a buffoon. Uh, next and final game for the show, it's going to be Angels, Mariners, 10-10 Eastern first pitch in Seattle. Now Seattle's minus 110, totals 8.5. We did see a 10-cent fade of Seattle in the early going here. We also saw movement downward on the total. Um Open 120 down to minus 110. Opened nine down to eight and a half. So once again, Seattle open a dollar twenty down to minus 110. Total open nine down to eight and a half. 54% are leaning Angels, 75% shaded toward the over. Right now, Los Angeles is plus 105 on the money line. Seattle plus 175 on the run line. We have Felix Pena for the Angels. Yusei Kikuchi for the Mariners. Now the Angels have won four out of their last five. They're also 16 and 10 against the spread away from home. Now Seattle, they've been losers, big losers in eight out of their last nine games. Give me the Angels plus 105 in the over eight and a half in that matchup. Let's go ahead and do a quick review. I got the Dodgers minus one and a half in the under eight runs taking on the Mets. We also have Cleveland taking on the White Sox. I like Cleveland minus 180 and the over nine in that game. Uh, we have the Royals taking on the Rangers. I like Texas minus 145 and the over 10 runs in that matchup there. Uh, we got Twins Rays. I like the Twins plus one and a half and the over eight and a half. Uh, next game, Red Sox Yankees. Now that game here, the, the thing about that game is it's on the other page. So I just had to turn the page real quick. But anyway, Boston at the Yankees. I like the Yankees minus, no, just kidding. Yankees plus one and a half on the run line and the under eight and a half in that game. Uh, Brewers and the other team. Back flipping the page again. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of notes. Uh... Milwaukee at Pittsburgh. I like Milwaukee minus 120 in the over eight and a half in that game. Uh, we have the Diamondbacks taking on the Rockies. I uh, like Arizona plus one and a half in the under 12 in that game. We also have San Francisco uh, taking on um, the Fish. And I like the Fish winning that one outright. Getting the job done on the money line. And then our last game which is actually our first game <laughs> uh i like the fills minus 105 in the under 10 runs in that game all right guys sorry for the silliness i'm just so happy that friday is almost here we're at thursday tomorrow's friday we're one day away then we got the weekend and uh man i'm fucking burnt out uh anyway uh thanks for tuning in guys I really hope you enjoyed all this great free information. Don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash rock page. Link for that site is in the description section below. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you. I'm out of here. No fancy. Check me out. Patreon.com slash Brock page. There's the finger. <laughs>